有，大家晚上好。呃，因为我的华语还没进步到可以演讲这种很呃很深的呃 issue 了，所以他们请我过来，呃，用英文讲一句话了，可不可以啊？但是凯龙他会呃，没有翻译，翻译，翻译啊。So uh, good evening to everybody. This is uh, supposed to be like a talk show, but I don't know what happened to the rest. <laughs> <laughs> they are on their way. I just uh, text them. So uh, they have another function before, so they are here. I'm on the way. They said about it's about five minutes time. Actually, I'm supposed to be the last speaker <laughs> to summarize everything. And to tell you what uh, the Selangor State Government's uh, position is on uh, PKSN. Uh, when we took over Selangor State Government last year, uh, we, the Selangor State Government, through our Matthew Bissar, that's Rinkale, made an offer <laughs> to acquire PKZ on two conditions. One, if the federal government will write off all the debts. That was last year. Write off everything. That means the federal government will have to take care of that seven, six, seven billion ringgit. The second condition is that we will buy it at a book value of one ringgit. This is very common when it comes to business. If you look at uh, Augusto, <laughs> which is an Italian uh, motorcycle company owned by Proton, when uh, <coughs> when former Prime Minister Badawi uh, took power, <coughs> this was one of the things that he did. He sold the motorcycle company for one ticket. Um, so this is what we're proposing. Because if you leave it there now, with the same management, the same people running it, then we don't think it will improve. Right now, only 14% of that whole facility <coughs> uh, is being occupied. So about 86% is unoccupied, it is wasted. So you imagine there's a complex, but it's all empty. And we need a lot of business. We have a lot of businesses who want to invest. We have a lot of uh, uh, investors who want to come in and, and help out. So we want to, we need the proposal the federal government, but still they don't want. So one year later, Almost one year later, this happened. The Price Waterhouse report came out. In fact, it was ready some time ago. But they were too scared. Too scared to even publish it. Before Price Waterhouse House uh, wanted to release the document, they asked to be indemnified. Indemnify, indem indemnify means they are afraid that inside the document, whatever they say, they get sued. So, they waited, waited, ding dong, ding dong. Finally, they were indemnified, then they dared to release the document. And it showed that today, we have lost 7.5 billion ringgit. And if, and Pricewaterhouse, this is an international accounting firm, said, if this goes on, we could lose up to 12 billion ringgit. Let me tell you what, how much is 7 billion ringgit? You all remember the bailout package announced last, last year because of the economic recession. At that time, Prime Minister Najib, well, he was not Prime Minister then, he was Finance Minister. That, that, uh, the special package to stimulate the economy was 7 billion. 
this facility on an island in Pulau Inda is more than the, the economic stimulus package. I just wanted to give everyone the, the size uh, of this massive project which has generated nothing. We think that the Selangor government can do a much better job. So one year later, the offer is still there. We want to buy it at the book value of one ringgit. If they want to argue about it, we increase to two ringgit. 100% of two ringgit. Then, the same thing. We want them to write off the debts. And at the same time, uh, and I think maybe all of you know, we have in fact a representative in PKA, Port Plank Authority, which represents the Selangor State Government. So it is now represented by a civil servant, but we want an EXCO member to sit in there. What is the value of that EXCO member in there? Because we want to know what is happening. Like it or not, it is still in Selangor. It may be a federal project, it is still in our state, and we are accountable. More so when 4.6 million of the Rakyat's money have, has been used to bail out this dreadful project. So we think that, I think a lot of people believe that they can run this project much better. So the offer is to them. They have announced, uh, last this week, they have announced a special committee to help this PKFZ. We don't think it will be of any use because it is basically the same management, the same people. They put in some um, some big names to help them out, but their financial plan is still the same. The fundamental issues are still the same. So we don't believe that this committee can do much good. In fact, we believe that you will waste, as time passes every day, it's losing more money, it's leaking money. You know, this is like a ship with a big hole. And the longer you stay on the water, the more water will go in. And this is what we mean by bela, taking a bucket and throwing out the water. This bela, but the boat is still sinking. What is necessary, in fact, is that we need to have a public inquiry. A public inquiry because this is Rakyat's money, this is our money that's being thrown into this project with no results. I think, um, I'm not sure whether in the Chinese papers or in the Malay papers, they have listed down all the people who have been involved from 2001 until 2007, but I want to read out their names and where they used to come from. So from the list of directors, from 2001 to 2007 are Dr. Dr. Teng Aman Ram, Aman, Abdul Rahman Muhammad No, who was the representative of the Transport Ministry, Dati Paruka O.C. Kang, former general manager, PKA, Zubir Abdul Aziz, representative of EPU, PM's department, Dato Muhammad Sinon Mut Zahir, representative of the Selangor State Secretary, then they have a few unions. They also have UMNO representative, Abdul Rahman Padir, who is still an ADU today. This, this Dato, this UMNO representative, is the one which sold them the land, um, Kuala Diamond Sea. Tomorrow morning, this is a side issue, tomorrow morning, there will be an MACC report lodged against this Dato for stealing land in Savanta, in Kappa, 